You know, on any given night, hundreds of Nashvillians are left sleeping on the streets. The city has spent thousands of dollars working to get people out of encampments and into housing using federal CARES dollars. It's hard to estimate just how many people are unhoused in Nashville, but we've seen a steady number around 2,000 in the last decade. Tonight, we're taking an in-depth look at how the city is working with landlords to get that number down. News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald explains what Metro is offering them to ease qualifications for people experiencing homelessness. If we're going to deal with this issue in Nashville, we have to be bold. Offering apartments to people who may be turned down elsewhere is important, according to Alexis Lewis. You know, it really doesn't matter which voucher program they came through, we're going to provide that support so that they can all experience that success. At Whispering Oaks, first it was veterans, and now people experiencing homelessness are getting their housing applications moved to the top of the pile. We have seen that where there is accountability and where there is case management and wraparound services, um, that it can totally transform an individual's life. This community is just one place caseworkers at Metro Social Services are sending people. More than 100 landlords have agreed to look beyond bad credit or past evictions and participate in the Low Barrier Housing Collective. In return, the landlords are getting rewards. Incentives include sign-on bonuses and $2,000 if a lease is terminated. People experiencing homelessness are applying for the same units that anyone who's low income is applying for. So that's why we've built the incentives to say, hey, these are our most vulnerable. Back at Whispering Oaks, things are off to a good start. The reason why this property is so successful is because there's so many community amenities around here. Um, there are access to jobs nearby. We have a lot of community partners that work here. The team here does check in frequently with vulnerable residents. Is there food insecurity, you know, among the residents? Uh, are there, uh, is there a need for youth development services? Do we need day camps? You know, what exactly do you feel like you need in order to have success? Because while that financial protection exists, if a resident doesn't work out, they'd rather have a full house. In South Nashville, Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5.